Good afternoon, everybody. Standing room only, this is so exciting. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Center for Creative Photography at the University of Arizona. I'm Ann Breckenridge Barrett, I'm the director here. And we are celebrating Ansel Adams' birthday for the third year in a row. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ansel, 117 years old today. Or no, well, last week. This event keeps getting bigger and better every year, and it, uh, it's just thrilling to me to see all of you in this auditorium, standing in line upstairs to see our wonderful prints. Um, welcome. Um, it's just fantastic. You know, I'm, I woke up this morning and I looked outside and I saw these white-capped Catalina Mountains, and I was reflecting on how amazing it is to be here. Um, I came from Chicago and we had wonderful resources there and a vibrant city. Um, but I thought, you know, I get to come in, uh, come into work today and be surrounded by world-class art and at a world-class university with a packed house celebrating a world-class artist. And I am, um, I'm deeply grateful for that. And we have that right here in Tucson. And it, it is really amazing. It's an incredible resource. Events like this offer us the opportunity to share this with the community and open up our doors and really let you all know what we have here, what we can share with you, and what we can all learn from it. So I, I do appreciate you coming and, and learning with us, taking this journey. I'd like to thank our underwriters this weekend, the Marshall Foundation for making today possible, Western Photographic Historical, Historical Society, and Tim Haggard with Long Realty. I want to also acknowledge some special people and visitors this evening. Now, I did this last night. I, I thanked my entire staff who worked tirelessly this week, along with the student workers. And I told everybody to stand up, and nobody was in here because they're all outside working so hard. <laughs> so um, a shout out to them. We have incredible people who work at the center and at the university. Their dedication and their expertise, which you'll hear a little bit later, our chief curator will be talking. Um, again, world class, and it's an honor for me to come to work every day and um, work alongside them. So thanks to the Center for Creative Photography staff and students. I'd like to thank President Robbins, who is here today, who's agreed to be a part of our program. We're incredibly happy and proud to be part of the university and grateful for the entire community, the students, the faculty, and um, our, our ability to collaborate the way a lot of museums aren't allowed to. You know, a, a university environment is a safe place for provocative inquiry and study, especially when it comes to art. And when you're not attached to a university, that can sometimes become more difficult. But we are in an environment that encourages that, and it's, it's really a pleasure to work here and be here. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank our members for supporting the center. Your membership allows us to do events like this and to present really incredible speakers and photographers and collaborate with our colleagues. We have some events coming up, and I'm just going to go over the next two. In, on February 28th, which I just figured out is this week, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, we have Paul Roth. Uh, Paul is the former executive director of the Richard Avedon Foundation, and he's the current director of the Ryerson Image Center, and he's going to come to Arizona and discuss Richard Avedon's work and legacy, um, and he can really dig into some history. It's going to be a great event. And on March 2nd and 3rd, the center is going to have a booth at the Festival of Books this year, and I'm very excited for that. We're going to be joining our colleagues at the College of Fine Arts, and we'll have hands-on activities, and we'll be selling some beautiful books. If you're not a member of the center, and this is your first time here, I encourage you to really consider membership and joining today. Uh, members enjoy great benefits, opportunities to come and have print viewings, um, behind-the-scenes tours of exhibitions, and travel opportunities. So please do consider joining us. Our speaker today is Mark Burns. And Mark is an American photographer known for having a refined photographer's eye. He creates compelling images that are a unique mastery of composition, lighting, and photographic technique. While very much at home in the studio, 
Burns loves the unique challenges and demands of landscape and location photography. He is a master of the black and white image, skilled in large format photography, traditional silver gelatin print and platinum printmaking, yet is equally comfortable working in today's digital world. By combining his traditional photography background and expertise with modern digital equipment and digital workflow, Mark believes he can best express his creative vision. Though he worked much of his early life in the world of professional sports and commercial photography, today, be it landscape, still life, fine art portraiture, it is the archival print that inspires him as a visual artist. In October 2015, Burns completed a five-year project photographing all 59 of America's national parks in black and white. The work, titled National Parks Photography Project, became an exhibit that traveled to six museums during the National Park Service centennial year of 2016. The highly acclaimed exhibition had a combined venue attendance of approximately 297,000 visitors. In February of 2018, a 60th U.S. National Park was created. Burns is one of the only several photographers to have photographed all 60 national parks and the only person to have photographed all 60 in black and white. Mark will speak about his photography in the national parks and how it relates to the legacy of Ansel Adams' work. And then he'll be joined by our chief curator, Dr. Rebecca Semp, and university president, Robert Robbins. But before he begins, I'd like to introduce you to the Center for Creative Photography's co-founder, photographer, and former University of Arizona president, John Schaefer, whose cactus flower photographs were just made into U.S. Forever Stamps last week. I'm thrilled that Dr. Schaefer has agreed to talk to us just a little bit about the founding of the center and his own personal relationship with Ansel Adams. Dr. Schaefer. 